all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the 12 tribes of Israel, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, to the four major prophets, to the 12 minor prophets, and to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers, the Aki of the saints who are preaching the word of God on the four corners of this earth, risking their lives day in and day out for bringing out this truth. And love, peace and blessings, Shalom to all you brothers and sisters and children who are watching these videos. We're on another video. And today we're in May. Today's Wednesday. And I believe it's uh, May 8th, 2024. So in, in the, uh, we're going to start with, uh, I'm at the Denver Botanical Gardens. I like to come here one, two days out of the week just to reset the brain and reset the body. You know, when you're around the plants, trees, the trees and the plants give you energy and it takes all the negative forces away from you when you're, when you're at peace. So you need your peace. So find the park, go for a, lot, a nice walk. Like here in Colorado, we have a lot of trails. We have a lot of uh, lakes, ponds. And every day I try to make it to a park. I, I love to walk. And, and I'll start doing more videos here. But when they start with the scriptures, I write everything down. I don't have my Bible with me, but I write a, a lot of scriptures down. And, and we're going to start with uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. God says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father, Yahweh, is not in him. Now, Yahweh, he's the Heavenly Father. That's the ancient Hebrew name of the Father, is Yahweh. So he says, love not the world. Okay? And 99% of the people of this world, who live in this world, love the things of this world okay they love houses they're in the rat race of going to college getting a degree chasing money chasing wealth chasing uh, women and the evil things of this world cars and, and uh, being a pervert. That's what people, they love money, they'll lie, cheat, and they'll even slay you. Like corporations, they take, they go around the world and they take the branches of government, your military, Satan's pit bull, they go around. And who runs the corporations is the Rothschild family. They go around the four corners of this world and start wars. Like what's happening in Ukraine, Eastern Europe. What's happening in the Middle East. There's a lot of oil. There's a lot of artifacts. There's uh, gold and silver. That's why the United States is there. That's why NATO is there. They want the whole world in their hands. And they're starting war with China over Taiwan. Okay? And that has a lot to do with the RFID chips, computer, the computers, the technology. Like I said, there's civil wars all over the world. They don't care about civil wars. They only care about what's going to make them more money. Okay? So, going back to 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, 
the love of the Father Yahweh is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, and people are filled with pride and arrogance. For all that is in this world, the lust of the flesh, people lusting after men and women, girls with girls, boys with boys, they're never satisfied, they want more and more pleasure. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father Yahweh, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and this world is passing away. Satan kingdom is passing away. All the kingdoms of this earth is passing away. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever and ever, so let it be true. And today I want to talk about what's in the news. Like everything's crumbling, everything's falling apart here in America and on the four corners of the earth. But the most powerful country, government, mountain is the United States. And then you've got Europe and Israel. They're all together. The Rothschilds control all three. Okay? America is a corporation. And the military, the branches of government, is the Rothschilds pit bull. your Marines and your Army, they send your sons and daughters to steal the, the wealth of others, other nations, for the Rothschilds so they could have those artifacts in their homes, all right? They have castles all over the world. They have homes right here in Colorado, in the Rocky Mountains, underground bunkers on the four corners of this earth. So uh, Jerome Powell, He's going to keep the rates higher for longer, okay? American households, he said, were, you're going to feel some pain, and you're going to feel the pain, what's coming, okay? You're going to feel the pain. He said, rates will be higher for longer. Federal, the federal alert. The Federal Reserve has lost control, okay? Now they promised back in December of 2023 that they were going to lower the rates. This is more lies from the serpent, because the serpent, Satan's children, the Federal Reserve, your Congress, your Senator, your politician, your governors, they're liars. Right when they're born, they speak lies, all right? U.S. economy and the world's economy is falling apart. Like I said, the Most High is done with this. He's beside himself. He's going to bring the whole system down. Okay, and once the United States Federal Reserve dollar goes to the ground, the whole world will be engulfed in chaos. That's why my channel is called, I have many channels, it's called Days of Chaos, Days of Sorrow. Because that's the times that we're living in. Lamentations, mourning, and woe. Alright? If you want the longer versions of my videos, I have like about 13 channels on YouTube. you got to look for the Days of Chaos, Days of Sorrow. There's a, there's a channel 1, 2, and 3. Plus I have Lamentations, Morning, and Woe. I have Days of Noah. Days of Famine. And they keep on terminating them. I just make a new channel. But if you want the longer version, this is going to be the shorter version of this video. Go to the other. I have another camera that's it's going to be a one or two hour video. Like I said, just keep on. Like I said, I'm shadow banned. But just look. Always look for that. My main channels. So my main three channels is Days of Chaos, Days of Sorrow. Okay. So he, he even came out and said, you're going to feel the pain. And people are feeling the pain because of inflation. Okay? They're never going to lower those rates. It's just going to go higher and they, they have no control of inflation. So the rates will be higher for longer. Federal Reserve has lost control. Uh, and say a prayer to all these people that got locked in 
with these homes because they were lied to. Yes. All right, they overpaid for these houses because, like I said, they controlled the television. They put panic. Said there's you, you're not you're never going to buy a house. They overvalued these houses. They doubled their prices to they doubled it doubled and tripled the prices. Houses that were only supposed to be like two hundred twenty five thousand, they end up being six seven hundred thousand. Houses that were five hundred thousand went up to one point two million, and people got locked in with these rates, and they can't pay these mortgages. When you add inflation with food, insurance, gasoline, clothing, and uh, healthcare, and on and on and on, everything's just going through the roof. Okay, say so. Say a prayer for all these people who were promised they would they could keep low. They could lower their interest rates. You know what I mean. Holding on to a mortgage that's really unaffordable right now. You know what I mean. All the lies that these real estate agents, these banks told the people out there in 2020, 2021, 2022. They told the people, date the rate, marry the house. Okay. That in the future, when the rates go down, they could refinance, which are all lies. You're losing house equity every day, two, three, four hundred dollars a day. All right. They only doubled and tripled your houses. It's an illusion to make you feel good, to make you feel that you have wealth. But those houses, they're all crumbling. Okay. You have like 60 million homes that were built from 1970 that all need to be major repairs. Really, these houses need to be knocked down and rebuilt, okay? I have videos I'll bring out in Las Vegas. They're building so many homes in Vegas. It shows new home buyers that bought houses in Las Vegas less than one year. Once they moved in, the roofs are caving in, the walls are cracked, the sidewalks. Within six, eight, 10 months, of these homes being built, they're falling apart. So imagine the houses that were built in 1970. They're all falling apart. And then if you go back to 1900, and these houses that were built in 1912, 1922, you're talking about over $100,000 of repairs. Like I said, you were, you were, they used the television to brainwash your minds. Why do you think they have these shadow bands? out the truth and it's raw and uncut and you're not going to see no P.O. box for asking for money. All right, That's your Catholic Church, your Protestants that make trillions, billions, and millions. All right, They cherry pick the scriptures. Over here I'm going to give you the honey and I'm going to give you the bitter. So they, it was all lies. These real estate agents are going to be sued. People are going to sue these real estate agents. So if you're out there watching, be ready you're going to be going to court for all the lies that came out of your mouth all right and all these uh, real estate companies that you work for it was all based on lies and deceit i mean all the lies date the rate marry the house rates may never go down we are in, we're going into hyperinflation. you think it's bad now it's nothing what's coming a rude awakening in is coming to America. HUD put its latest numbers on uh, on the housing the housing survey on delinquent renters and homeowners. The real estate market turn um, the real estate market turns upside down. Okay, so we're going to go back to January of 2024. 5.3 million households were behind on their rental payments. So over 5,300,000 people in the month of January of 2024 were several months behind on their rent. Okay, this is coming from HUD. If you're gonna, you're, I'm going to give you the data, what they're bringing out. 
we're going to talk about it. It's really double and triple this. Okay? They're not going to bring out the whole truth because if they if they put it on, if they're not even putting this on CNBC or nothing. You have to, I, I have to dig to find this information. Okay? They're not going to put this out because they don't want you to panic. Okay? Because all the grocery stores, all all the Home Depots, I mean, people will just go and just take all the wood doors. I mean, it would just, you wouldn't find a nail or a hammer there. All right, so they're they're trying to they're, they have to push out those lies that everything is great, the economy is the strongest ever. Whatever the government comes out and says is a lie. Okay, is a lie. So we're in hyperinflation. Five point three million households in January were were behind on their rental payments one to three months. And then you have one, uh, 4.5 million homeowners who are behind on their mortgages. Okay? That was, in, in with the month of February was about the same. 5.3 renters were behind and you had that 4.5 4 in January and February homeowners that were several months behind on their mortgage payments. Okay, let's go to the month of March to April. For March 2024 through April 1st, you had close to 5 million. It was 4.9 million rental households were behind on their rental payments in the month of March. Close to 5 million. Like I said, it's really double and triple that. All right. This is coming from HUD. Close to five million, one to three months behind on paying rent. This is hyper, This is why we're going into high inflation. We're going to hyperinflation because everything is like your insurance, your car insurance, your home insurance. That stuff is totally doubled. Okay, and groceries. A lot of uh, when I go to the grocery store. Everything is high. And it's not no 3% like they're saying. It's 50, 80, or 100. It's doubled. And it's going to go higher. Look up the, uh, look up the word hyperinflation. It could, it could double monthly. And that's going to be coming in the months to come. All right? Rental payments in March. 2 million rental households feared eviction was imminent. These were people that were... Five months or whatever, they're 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 about to the SWAT team, the, the the sheriffs are coming to their door and throwing all their furniture, TVs, clothing out to the street. There's no mercy in this game. You don't come up with the funds, you don't come up with that fiat paper and pay, your stuff is gonna be laying out in the street. We live in a cold, cold world. Alright? So over 2 million rental households feared eviction was imminent. You had close to 5 million homeowners in the month of March were behind on their mortgage payments. Over 1 million of them homeowners feared foreclosure was imminent in the next two months. And like I said, I don't believe these numbers. I believe it's double, even triple the numbers. But like I said, they're gonna keep this quiet because they don't want the American people to panic. But it's time to panic. Anytime your government comes out and says everything is great, it's the opposite. Okay? They're liars, they're serpents. And it's all by design. Because we're going into a, a new world order. You're gonna beg. So you're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna they're, they're taking your wealth away from you. Every time you make an extra dollar, insurance went up. Your car insurance, your house insurance, your health insurance. So they're, they're taking everything that you make. But your, your pay is the same. And, and a, lot of, um, a lot of workers, a lot of people that they're getting their hours cut. They're not getting these 40 hour weeks. They're dropping them to 35, to 30. So they're strangling you. The big squeeze is on. So I don't believe the numbers. I believe it's double and triple of what 
HUD is saying, a, uh, FHA loans are in default. Over 70% of Americans are struggling. Struggling. Um, and, and it's going to get worse. You haven't seen nothing yet. Like I said, I'm going to bring the scriptures out on it. And uh, that's what's happening in this world. All right? We're in the times of the four dreaded horsemen. Okay? We're in the time of famine. We're in the time of ruled war. That's the red horse. We're in ruled war three. There's so much news. Like I said, I got like a hundred videos on the back burner of what's happening in this world. So let's go to uh, the holy book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. We're going to read through 21. And let no man deceive himself. If anyone among you thinks he is wise by this world's standards, and now I'm talking to the bankers of this world, to the Rothschilds, because they're the bankers. All right, that control two-thirds of the banks on the face of this earth. And I'm talking to your scholars, your professors, your teachers, your congress, your senators, the Federal Reserve. This is God. God. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the ancient Hebrew name. He said, let no man deceive himself. If anyone among you thinks that he is wise by this world's standards, he should become a fool. In order to be really wise, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness. All your schools, your college degrees, your bachelors, your doctorate degrees, is worthless, all right? He said, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Almighty God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For it is written, God traps the wise in their cleverness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, and they are vain. And they are vain. Wickedness. Your minds are corrupted. No one then should boast about what man can do. Everything belongs to to the Almighty God, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, for all things are yours, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, God, the creator of the universe, the galaxy. So your education, your paper is worthless to God. He calls you a fool, but you prounce around like you're a somebody. But God is done with this place. He's pulling it down. He's behind it. He controls the right and he controls the left. That's Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. The Holy Book of Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but God, Yahweh, knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed amongst men is an abomination in the sight of God. The people you look to, up to on TV, your professors, your Ivy League schools, your master's degrees, these rich people, real estate, have these $100 million homes and these $40 million yachts. God calls them an abomination in the sight of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Like I said, great fear is going to fall upon this earth. A few more scriptures and we're going to wrap it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19 and 21. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. This is the Most High God. He's done with the proud, the Greco, the Roman, eroding Israel dynasty. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring it to nothing. The understanding of the prudent, where is the wise, are the scholars, 
are the skillful debaters of this world. Has not God, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, made foolish the wisdom of this world? He's showing the whole world that your Ivy Leagues, your professors, your scholars are nothing but fools. Your Federal Reserve, they have no control. They lost control. Economy by creating paper dollars, fiat, it's trash. You never, you don't know what real wealth is, which is the holy book. But rule God's money is gold and silver. That goes back from the beginning of time of Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the twelve tribes of Israel. He says, I. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? After that, in the wisdom of the Almighty God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. See, when I come out here and make these videos, the prophets, we're out here, we're being mocked, people laugh, they giggle. Because it's called, he says it's it's foolishness, you know, we should be, you know, we're at war, we're being persecuted by Satan. We're on the bottom and you have the wicked are on the top. And when someone sees someone preaching, they say, look at that fool. That's why he says foolishness, foolishness of preaching. But to save who? To save the elect, we're pulling you out of the occult. We're pulling you out of the twilight zone. Because Satan rules the kingdom of this world and his children. Your kings, your Caesars, your pharaohs, your president, your congress, your senators. They're the children of the devil. But he said, it pleased Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It pleased him when he sees the prophets and the 144,000 preaching the word of God to save who? To save the great multitude of brothers and sisters. First Corinthians chapter two, verse five, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. All praises to the most high God. If you wanna watch the longer video, the longer version of this video, Go to Days of Chaos, Days of Sorrow. Most high willing, I'll be here tomorrow. The water.